Hello everyone and welcome to Age of Empires 2 The Age of Kings. This is a sequel to the original Age of Empires and its expansion pack The Rise of Rome. We're going to start with the learning campaign, which this time does not take place in Egypt but in Scotland. William Wallace. The warriors of Scotland attempt to hold off an invasion of the better equipped English armies. Take command of the Highlanders and learn the basic concepts of Age of Empires 2 HD edition, such as how to build an economy, how to train your soldiers, and most importantly, how to fight and defeat your enemy. If you are new to real-time strategy games, you will learn all you need to know. If you have played the original Age of Empires, then you can skip ahead to new features such as garrisoning and formations. We are going to fight the English as the Scottish, and we're going to start with the first mission, marching and fighting. Age of Empires 2 is about empire building, combat and conquest. You start from humble beginnings, a small village in the Dark Ages. You explore to expand your borders, conduct trade to boost your economy, and research technologies to grow your civilization into a mighty empire. But there are difficulties too. Cunning enemies and rivals that oppose you, powerful castles to destroy, tyrants to bring down. And if you're skillful and a little lucky, you just might build a wonder of the world and create an empire that will stand the test of time. To learn how empires are built, help our first hero, William Wallace, in his fight against his oppressors. We are without a leader. The dead king of Scotland has no heir. War creeps in from the south, where Edward Longshanks, the avaricious king of England, has returned from successful campaigns to conquer Wales and France. As Longshanks turns his attention to Scotland, the shadow of fear settles across the highlands. The English have thousands of Welsh longbowmen, hundreds of knights on horseback, and dozens of siege weapons. We Scottish have a rabble of untrained soldiers who do not even know how to march in a straight line. Well, we must act soon if we have any chance of resistance. We need to forge an army by any means necessary. Here we go. The English are terrorizing all of Scotland. And it's time for us oh. to fight back. But if we're to defeat them, every one of us will need to learn how to march and oh. fight. Follow the path to the blue flag. First, click the soldier. Good. Now, 
right click near the blue flag. This first mission here isn't particularly challenging, but it's not supposed to be. It's a tutorial mission. So what you see here is what you get. Good. Now move to the next flag. Click the soldier, then right click near the flag. We shall do so. Much on my brave militia. Excellent. To move to the next flag, you must walk through the black area. Ooh, the black area. Moving it's just a shroud of war. Area reveals more of the map. The black area represents unexplored territory. That's all there is to it. Now go on to the next flag where you'll meet some allied soldiers. That's good. We can use some reinforcements. So we can march on. To move all your soldiers at once, click near the units and drag around them. Then right click to move. Try moving your soldiers to the next flag. Yeah, this is still Age of Empires. It has some differences, quite a bit of differences actually, but fundamentally it's not a Did not a different units game. Make it to the flag? The road ahead is guarded by an English outpost. Scroll up to the outpost building by moving the mouse to the very top of the screen. Then click the red outpost. Right click the outpost to attack it. Yep, we shall burn down this dastardly outpost here. And just like in the original Age of Empires, if you step or shoot a building often enough with arrows, then it's going to catch fire. I suppose. I wonder whether it's possible to swing a metal sword so fast or to so frequently that it would actually set a wooden building on fire. I suppose it's it's possible somehow. That should slow the English raids. Keep foot, keep following the path to the village. There we go. Got a nice nice village here. Wait. English are angry that you destroyed their outpost. They're coming to attack your village. Just click your soldiers and right click their English soldiers to attack. Defeat the enemy soldiers and you will have won your first battle. Not a problem. Good job. Now you know how to fight back against the English army. And there we go. See you next time. Scotland has soldiers now, if only a few. But if we are to turn back the greed of Edward Longshanks, we will need many more recruits. Much more gold in our coffers. These ancient stones and oaks around us will soon be steeped in the blood of clansmen.